thought was taken away from me. When I got to my 50s, I thought, bugger it, I'm going to do sport again. I went to a shop and I asked the man there, um, could I have a mountain bike, please? And he looked at me and said, and how many mountains do you plan to bike up? <laughs> and I admitted, well, I was planning to start on the footpath. <laughs> and he said, I have the bike for you. And he brought out the Abandy Discovery Comfort Bike for me, <laughs> which I actually love. It had ball handlebars, roll gears, suspension, a great big cat, granny gear at the back to get up hills, and best of all, it had a squishy, soft suspension <laughs> um, seat, <laughs> which was comfortable to the extreme. In fact, in fact, it was very comfortable to the extremities. <laughs> it did things you wouldn't expect. <laughs> to complete, which I was very happy about. <laughs> I didn't like being passed. <laughs> so I went back to a bike shop and I said, I would have a road bike please. And the man looked at me and said, well what do you ride now? And I said, I ride the Aventi Discovery Comfort Bike. <laughs> And he said, that's perfectly all right for you, dear. <laughs> so I left. <laughs> I complained to a friend and she said, you need to learn the language of bikes. So I did. And I went back to another bike shop and I said, could I please have a one up from entry level road bike? With Shimano this and Tiegma that and compound this <laughs> and complex that. And he said, I have the bike for you. <laughs> and he brought out the giant OCR Zero Velux 6000 series, <laughs> which absolutely terrified me. <laughs> Till I got used to it. By that stage, I'd also been learning how to swim better and to run and I had a coach. He said, why not enter the uh, Taupo Half Iron Man? So I did. Ooh. And much to my surprise, I got <laughs> And even more to my, my surprise, I um, qualified for the world's long distance try in Weihei, China. Ooh. But that was far too terrifying to contemplate. <laughs> Instead, I went and did the Wellington try. And much to my surprise, I got second. <laughs> Admittedly, there weren't too many women in my age group. <laughs> <laughs> Five of us. <laughs> one didn't turn up. <laughs> one was disqualified. <laughs> one got terribly seasick. <laughs> then it was me, and there was uh, one person who actually knew what she was doing. <laughs> but despite that, I qualified for the World Olympic Distance <coughs> Try in Edmonton, Canada, which was much more manageable. I went and I got to be part of the New Zealand team and wear the silver fern. Um, 
I returned from Canada and immediately started training with my the other sport that I do, which is dragon boating. And I'm with the Can Survive Dragon Boat Team um, of Wellington. And we went uh, about six weeks later to uh, Sarasota, Florida for the International Breast Cancer Survivors Participatory Dragon Boat Regatta. Um, we had four races over two days um, and we got into the finals by a smidge. <laughs> we had a plan, but when we got onto that starting line and the hooter went, the plan went out the window. <laughs> we shot down that course like we had wings. And... <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 